You're watching Seven's Morning News. We're joined now by the New South Wales Premier-elect, Christina Keneally, who was chosen last night after a controversial leadership spill. Good morning, Ms Keneally. Good morning. Now, your party was with most voters in New South Wales before yesterday's events. Is it fair to say you've been handed a poison chalice? Mark, what I've been elected by my caucus colleagues to do is to restore confidence and to bring healing to the New South Wales Labor Party. This is a tremendous uh, responsibility they've been given me. It's a sense of trust. They place their trust in me and I place my trust in them. What our focus is now for the next 15 months is economic investment in jobs, building, public transport, and significantly putting at the heart of the government care for the most vulnerable members of our community. Ms Keneally, you talk about trust, but how do you feel when you see the headlines this morning calling you nothing more than a puppet Premier? Not over yet. I've got, I've got a son that's disabled, so I don't care. Mark, no. Mark. I've got a son that's disabled. I don't care whether it's life or not. As an Indigenous person, I'd like to welcome you to our country. Thank it's a bit you. surreal seeing an American in Sydney, but I've been to many... Um, done many welcomes with Auntie Sylvia, as you know. Oh, yes, Auntie but Sylvia. I've been a mother of a profoundly disabled yes. son of this country's hidden shame. Mm. And since the World Indigenous Assembly, when Carmen Lawrence was supposed to take on board the needs of our children, my son has become 28. Yeah. Now, there are lots of young men, uh, men and women like yes. that. And these people can't vote. So what I want to know from your whoever you leave in charge, are you going to look at the rights of the profoundly disabled whose only crime is being born repulsive looking to... What? We'll leave Miss Keneally there and uh, hopefully rejoin her in a moment when she has some spare time.